Pen Levé is a super rare rarity aircraft carrier from the Iris Libre and is part of the Yoffrey class of aircraft carriers. Pen Levé is available from the Full Scales banner, the Full Scales event store for 8,000 Fool's Majesties, and map drops from the bosses of stages B3, D3, and SP during the Full Scales event, which is currently running from the 17th of August to the 30th of August. Pen Levé is the second of two Yoffrey class aircraft carriers that were commissioned by the French Navy prior to World War II. The French Navy had little experience when they were commissioned in roughly 1936, only having the then converted Normandie class battleship, Baron, and the seaplane carrier Commandant Test from 1927. The Baron was converted to gain more experience with carrier aviation, with the Commandant Test being constructed as making another Baron was deemed too expensive. In 1928, the newly formed French Air Ministry took control from the French Navy over aircraft R&D, training, bases, and coastal aircraft, leaving the French Navy with only the control of the aircraft on board their ships. After four years of stagnation for naval aircraft, the French Navy was slowly able to reduce the Air Ministry's control until it regained full control in August of 1936. By that time, the French Navy was starting a program for a 54 to 59 km per hour fast battleship to counter German commerce raiders in the North Atlantic, which Baron was too slow to support. Carrier operations within range of land-based aircraft were also believed to be unviable. Designs for the Offrey class weren't authorized until 1937, possibly due to the Germans laying down the hull of the Graf Zeppelin carrier in 1936. Less than a year after Joffrey was laid down, World War II began and slowed the construction due to the reallocation of resources to higher priority tasks. Ultimately, in 1940, during the capitulation of France to the German invasion, Joffrey was roughly 20% complete. The occupying Germans scrapped the hull, Ben la vie was never placed down due to Joffrey taking up slipway number one, and the French Navy saw no need to build the Yoffrey class as most of the leadership focused on completing the Richelieu class to compete with modern German and Italian battleships, with Ben Lavie being replaced by the first ship of the cancelled Alsace class. In her character art, Pen Levé wears a sheer black half-body stocking, underneath a white dress that has straps over her bust, a flared collar, a golden cross above her chest, a blue loincloth that extends from underneath her bust to above her knees with a gold fleur de lis and cross pattern at the end. Absolutely no panties to be seen, a white skirt with gold trim and a little gold cross, two white with gold trim straps that have a golden cross connecting them, two freely hanging blue straps with golden ends, trim, and crosses on it, white leggings, white arm gloves, gold flats, and a black crown. Her rigging consists of a large pointed gold and white object behind her with blue gems, which has four different armatures around it. The two closest to the object are flight decks, both of which had gold trim at the end. The outside most armatures consist of multiple different white and gold parts, some with blue gems, and double barrel naval cannons. Behind her and the rigging is white bushes, and a ring with two pointed parts across from each other. Her dynamic outfit for this event, Team Stretching, is available from the shop for 980 gems. The outfit has the commander and Pen Levé at the gym stretching before exercising. Pen Levé herself wears very tight-fitting yoga pants, a black bracelet on her right wrist, a black hair scrunchie with white flower, black hairband, black choker with a gold cross on the back, no shoes, and a white, black, and blue sports bra. Pen Levé is doing the splits on a teal yoga mat in front of a window with white curtains, a wood floor, potted plant in the corner, some shelves with plants, picture frames, drawers, and books, and a black exercise ball with a manju on top, and another holding it up. In her voice lines, voiced by Yuka Nukui, who also voices Taomaru Sike in Scientific Railgun T, Igo Gusa in Golden Kamui, Guinea in Interspecies Reviewers, and Serena in Realist Hero, Pen Levé often talks about luck and how praying and wishing may affect it.
えっとはい指揮官の願いは分かっています私としては今はこのままにしていただければ願いのおかげでここに立つことができた航空母艦パンルベです願いを成就させるのはたやすいことではなく悔いや犠牲が伴うこともそれでも願うことを諦めてはなりません委託組が帰還しました出発前に祝福を授かる幸あるアイテムを勧めたのできっといい成果を出せたはずですどうして祈りが足りなかったのでしょうかそれとも不吉な予兆に気づけなかったのでしょうかええ指揮官がそう望むのでしたら祝福されし幸運の日ですからきっと大丈夫あ指揮官様お祈りが終わるまでもう少しかかるのでお待ちになっていただいてもいいでしょうか私の願いに答えて任務には幸ある順番が存在するかもしれませんねえっとつまり順番通りにこなすといいことが起きるという意味で任務が全て完了しましたね幸ある順番ちゃんとありましたか報酬が増えていたりとか指揮官祈りは万能な願望期ではありません過ぎた願いをくれぐれも望まないでくださいねさもなくは天罰が下ることも星占いタロットカードコーヒー占いそしてハッケ果たして今日はどれがこの行いはすなわちアイリスの願い我らが願いは届きましたはい。Pen Leve's first skill, Morning Star's Guidance, at level 10, every 18 seconds, one of two effects is randomly chosen. The first effect increases Pen Leve's and the flagship's damage dealt by plus 8% for 8 seconds. This doesn't stack if Pen Leve is the flagship. The second effect buffs Pen Leve's aviation by plus 15% and decreases the frontmost Vanguard ships, the one in the tank position, damage taken by minus 8% for 10 seconds. Her second skill, Holy Iris' s Wishes, at level 10, buffs p a i n l e v e s reload by plus 15%. Five seconds after p a i n l e v e launches an airstrike, she restores plus 7% of her own and all the Vanguard ship's max HP. If one of the ships being healed, herself or a Vanguard ship, has less than 25% max HP, an additional 100 HP is healed. The recommended equipment for p a i n l e v e is the XF5U for the fighter with the best surface damage and great AA, the Wyvern for the best general use parallel torpedo bomber, which also has the ability to intercept enemy aircraft, the prototype Denrai for a dive bomber with extremely high damage output, two steam catapults for the best auxiliary equip for all carriers, which also further increases their reload, allowing them to get more airstrikes out. And a hunting bow for a boost to aviation and AA, as well as an additional 20 aviation when Ben l e v e shoots down five enemy planes with her own planes. Ben l e v e is quite similar to other healing focused aircraft carriers, particularly Perseus and Unicorn, sharing a similar focus to healing the Vanguard fleet while also being able to buff herself and others. p e n l e v e s base stats outside of reload, evasion, luck, and anti sub are higher than Perseus and non retrofitted Unicorn, allowing her to do more damage with airstrikes while also having the torpedo bomber, or die bomber, I forget which, slot instead of an AA gun, further increasing her damage output. This damage output can be further increased with her S1. With her S1 either increasing the damage dealt of herself and the flagship, or increasing her own aviation, 
and making the tank vanguard ship take less damage. Her S2 is where the healing happens, healing all the vanguard fleet and herself with a bonus 100 HP being healed if one of the ships being healed has less than 25% HP. The same skill also buffs her reload, putting it to near where Perseus and Unicorn's reload stat is. But it must be noted that Pain Leve can only heal the vanguard ships and herself, while both Perseus and Unicorn, specifically retrofitted Unicorn, have skills that heal both the main fleet and the vanguard fleet, which Perseus has two skills that heal both fleets. Another thing to note is the difference in reload, aviation, luck, and anti-sub, as Pain Leve has lower reload, evasion, and luck, meaning that though Pain Leve has higher stats, she'll be launching airstrikes less often than Perseus and Unicorn, meaning that she'll also be healing less than them and possibly dealing less damage. There's also the part in her second skill where there is a 5 second delay between when Pain Leve launches an airstrike and when the Vanguard fleet and herself are healed. Whereas Perseus and Unicorn, going by the skill descriptions, heal pretty much instantly. There's also the random chance of her first skill either buffing herself in the flagship or buffing herself in the tank Vanguard. Overall, I'd give Pain Leve a medium high priority to raise in level. Having healing skills that affect the entire Vanguard fleet is always a nice thing to have, as well as having skills that buff herself and others. However, if you do plan on raising her, you'll need to be mindful of that coin flip in her first skill, and the fact that Perseus heals everyone in the fleet, as well as other fleets, and Retrofitted Unicorn also healing everyone in the same fleet, not just the Vanguard. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates, and please check out my other Azure Lane videos covering the Fool Scales event ships and story. Coming soon.